this girl has been here since last, since last night. Give her just a little bit. And she still had her ligament last night. She did. But they were so loose that I was afraid I was gonna miss it. See, now they're gone, completely gone. There's nothing there. So now she, who knows at what time she lost them completely. Rear, if you remember, she was really high. And both sides, really. I don't know if the babies, I'm assuming the babies are pushing on her room. And her udder is so full right now. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's all the way down here. She has no pocket here. So it's a complete full udder, especially for a first freshener. She was crying all night. I'm not kidding you. When I locked her in here, she was started to cry in, and she kind of calmed down for a little bit. She ate, and then she started freaking out again. She was looking through that opening on the gate. I actually took Clara out of this pen. So Clara ended up with the rest of the population outside. Her babies ended up inside because I'm still helping her at night because of the smaller babies not having enough energy to actually latch. I decided to take the bigger boy too and give this pen to Briere who didn't end up kidding in the middle of the night and I'm very thankful for that. You know what? I'm gonna let her out because she's loud and uh, she probably has some fun. Can we all stop that craziness? Can we stop it? Thank you. Go check on your children, Gaia. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Jumpy babies. Jumpy healthy babies. Oh, there they go. Hi, Auntie Yanni. Can we drink milk? No. Briere. Briere. Good job, Mocha. Defend your grandchildren. Okay, let's go back inside. I know, I'm so sorry. Enjoy. Enjoy your last day being a single lady. No, not you. Not you, guy. Not you. Go in. Are the baby ready to come out? Or not yet? You're just screaming your head off? Yeah? But I think all she wants is not to be alone. I think. That's why she's so loud. As soon as I walked in here, she tried to get out. And then she was um, trying to sit on my lap. <laughs> we have our neighbor, Clara, who's with her babies in the next stall. And she can fathom the idea of me being here with somebody else. Clearly, I must be feeding this goat because, you know, she thinks I'm a feeding machine. But no, it is free. And she's gonna have kids today. Look at the otter. You can't see the front, but the front is very swollen. I don't know how many babies you have in there. It's like, what is that? That bounce? Oh. Oh. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up. She's like, what is that? Final evaluation is she's not even close because of the screaming. Apparently the contractions are really strong now. I mean, she doesn't know what to do with her life. 
Okay, now there's a little bit of discharge. And she is really not finding a comfortable position. I think right now it's a matter of start pushing. It's just that it's taking her a while to get to that point, but still chewing the cut in between contractions. I barely started pushing, and there's some goo coming out. I think that's definitely the mucus plug that started coming out um, earlier. You can do it. I know that's your baby, but you have to push him out. There it is. Hello, little one. Look, it's your baby. to your baby. Hi, baby. Good mama. Good, good mama. Hello, you hungry? Good job. Good 
job. Come on. So this happened, um, this boy was, he was presenting butt first and both of his legs were, let's see if I can show you, like this, they were locking him in the op opening and he couldn't come out. So all I had to do is go in and get this leg like this out and he came out. He couldn't breathe. Um, I think the umbilical cord cut before he got out and he um, he wasn't breathing for a while and I could not find this which saved this little boy's life. Um, I tried this, the, the straw method to make them sneeze but he had a lot of fluid inside his mouth that I think he was swallowing inside or maybe he just had it inside his mouth and when he tried to you know take a breath then that happened Dom Jr. this is your boy can you believe it? Uh, Dom Jr. is a monster <laughs> he is huge that little boy is smaller but look at this he wants to nurse He's been trying to nurse for the last five minutes. I wish I would have let this thing rolling so you could hear the craziness that was happening here while we were trying to get this little boy out. Well, let me have her get up and see if we can make this baby's nurse. <laughs> I think all we need is to make sure that mom is understanding that she needs to feed this baby. So not rare. Come on. Time to get up, Ma. Come on. It's time to get up. Oh, there you are. One, two, three. I'm gonna try to dry her off a little bit. Because she had a lot of fluids and she had a lot of blood, which kind of scared me. Come on, Don Junior. The longest umbilical cord ever. Look at this. Oh, he got it for a second. He got it for a second, Briere. Where are you, little man? Okay, you're cold. Let me dry you off. You're okay. I don't know if you can see little Dom, but he is eating already. Yes, he was born hungry. Yes, ma'am, he was born hungry. Are you are you hungry, little man? Look at Dom Jr. Ginormous Dom Jr. I know, he just wants to eat. Make room for your brother. Okay, you can try to drink from there. Come on, you can do it. Come on. He's not that understanding where the teeth are. I know. You think I have a teeth, but I don't. Briere, don't step on him. Let him drink. Look at 
Dalton Jr. Come on, you can do this. There you are. Dom, I'm, I don't. Don't do that. He's really trying. I feel bad, but I've been helping him. Let's see if he can figure it out. There you are. Bria is eating his umbilical cord. I mean, okay, 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 that's enough. That's enough. That's that's kind of still attached to him, unless you want to eat your own son. Okay, okay, enough. You'll eat your placenta soon. I don't know why people like throw away the placentas. Around here, that's the one thing that they really want to eat, placenta. Look at that. She's more interested in that. But I will. <laughs> These little guys are pretty big. They were born yesterday, but they're pretty big for being born yesterday. And I need this one for Annie because right now she's not in labor just yet. I mean, she's, she's eating and she looks fine. But I need to clean this stall for Annie. So I'm gonna get going with that and I'm gonna let Briere out so she can come outside. She's gonna be a nervous Nelly because they usually need a few more days of bonding before they go outside, or at least in my experience. Come here now. <laughs> with a bunch of we have three little black babies so it's funny how I can um, tell them apart this one I've been calling him <laughs> Dom Jr. is right here okay now you can be with a bunch of babies you can say hi to those babies I would you stop it Ava stop it okay, okay. oh yeah I know it's so scary life is so scary Look, you want to find the teeth? Good boy, good boy. No, that's not your baby. He's